Oh man, there's a couple of things that are going straight on my board. Hey guys, welcome to that photo show. Uh, pick and mix, Dan here. Mick here. Hello, another pick and mix. Um, it will be a t -t 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 Tuesday. Mm. Um, interesting. Okay, uh, so what have we got today then, Daniel? Okay, first up we have the Dan Electro Eisenhower Fuzz. Saw that, and now we've got the Snake Oil Pedals Marvelous Engine. We have the Supro Delay. Uh, it's got some numbers in it, not quite sure what they are. And it is uh, the Meris Mercury 7, what is that, a reverb? It's a reverb. Awesome. Very, very amazing reverb. <laughs> um, cool, right. Just a brief overview. This was new for NAM at uh, 2019. We saw this, we spoke with Steve at Dan Electro, showed mm -hmm. us this, and mm -hmm. we sat in the booth there and heard it, and we're like, proper crazy. This is cool, yeah. octave fuzz. Yep. Relic pedal. Yeah, relic pedal. Um, what do we think about relic pedals? Um, given to me for a few months, and they'll look exactly like that anyway. So <laughs> I think it looks cool. Yeah, I think, it, it, does, cool. I think it does look great. The other one they've got, um, it's like a claim boost as well. Yeah, it, that looks like again, a straight preamp type boost. Yeah, and we'll do cool. that. We'll do that in another. Um, I think there's more than two actually, but we'll do that in another in another episode. Right, let's get straight into this. And I'm quite intrigued by this because I like me a bit of octave fuzz. Um, it's definitely an octave fuzz, isn't it? Definitely an octave fuzz. I haven't read the manual. It so. kind of reminds <laughs> me a little bit of the, um, like the duo fuzz, because you've got, um, okay, two amps yes. today, the two rock classic reverb signature, and the audio kitchen big chopper together sound thus. Two Rock is barking today. Man, <laughs> it just sounds glorious. Barking mad loud. Um, I don't know what the dB meter was saying, but it's pretty loud. Um, yes, yeah, so it doesn't sound to me like, in fact, here you go. So it doesn't sound to me like my full tone. No. And my new favourite one, which is Mythos Argo. Okay. Uh, which is a take on the old prescription electronics one, I think. But try this, just play a chord. I want to show what this does, because this is really interesting. But you're saying it does sound like the Shaftesbury. Duo fuzz. Your the, old duo fuzz. Yes. But cool. It sounds, it, the duo fuzz doesn't have as much octave in it, but what it does, it's, the duo fuzz is an octave fuzz, and it's it's similar to this, Yeah. but what the duo fuzz does that this does is this. So play, play a nice chord or something. A chord? Yeah. <laughs> Proper sexy time. What a good sound. Here you go, go on.
Addictively cool. Yeah. Cool. Okay. Nice one. Right. Moving along. Uh, the Marvelous Engine by Snake Oil Pedals. Now, Snake Oil Pedals comes from Chapman Guitars. Uh, Rob and all those guys there. Hello, guys. Hope you're all very well. I think the marketing for this. When I first heard about it, I right. thought, Oh no, they're taking the taking the, the rise out of boutique pedals. Okay. But actually, I think they've hit it straight on the head. They've, okay. They've done it really brilliantly well. So they're not. Well, they are a bit taking the the Michael, but I think it's done very well. Right. It's it's done very well, unparalleled by any other inferior brand. So they're it's tongue in cheek. It's okay. very tongue in cheek, and right. it doesn't feel bad tempered. Anyway, there's a few. There's two. Uh, I think this is a distortion. Sure. Based on um, overdriven British amplifiers. Okay. Which I think we can take to mean Marshall. Sure. And apparently down here, on the gain control, it's Plexi old, and then around here it's ah. <laughs> what? That's what the manual says. Anyway. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> As always, Daniel. Do you think I read the manual? <laughs> Humbuckers. Mm -hmm. Thank <laughs> you. 
Yeah, sounds good. Sounds like a more aggressive Angry Charlie to me. Yeah. So uh, a little bit rougher on the edges. Yeah, if you think about something like um, JHS's Angry Charlie, which is sort of 800e Marshall 800e sounding kind of, it's a lot smoother than that in actual fact. Mm. That's got the edges back. Um, Down here is pretty dark sounding. Yeah, that was my only concern was was there enough top end, but yeah, there was plenty there's actually. Plenty. Um, so you, what's this like a shape? This is voice. Says? Voice, yeah. So that's presumably sweeping the mid range. Mm. A little bit and then this tone knob up there sounds good absolutely tons of gain mm. sounds really cool yeah sounds really cool made in the uk um yeah it's a crowded market <laughs> is it not over distortion pedals it is it is but that sits that so sits with any of them that sounds great from, yeah it's it, what i like about it is it's super straight ahead yeah i think it, um just to me, to me, it seemed to really suit the humbuckers. Let me just have a quick thing with the voice control. I just want to see the range. On okay, that. what with, with singles? Just singles, yeah. It um, loses quite a lot of high end when you roll the volume back. Jaguar fans out there just pooed their pants down your there you go all the knobs on two right <laughs> nice very awesome. nice awesome. very nice very good very nice looking forward to playing the boost as well um okay delay this is interesting this delay it is very interesting because it has a story um supro um make my favorite tremolo pedal right the one that's got the harmonic mode and yes. it's got its own transformer and everything and it really does sound spectacularly good. This contains two of those LM3005, is that the number? Five, just double eights. Double eights, I don't know. I got it written down. Anyway, the fabled chips that were in um, the Memory Man. Right. Because the geezer that designed this geezer. is the same geezer Howard Davis. 3005s. 3005s. Howard Davis, the master engineer behind the legendary late 70s 
uh, Electro Harmonics Deluxe Memory Man and the Pigtronics Echolution. Okay. Right. Yep. So that's why it's interesting in terms of story. Right. Um, it's interesting because it's an analog delay um, up to 600 and something milliseconds. So not crazy long delay time. Um, and as you would expect of an analog delay, has the usual delay time, mm -hmm. repeats, level knob, but a really ace filter control. Gagne. That is ice. That's like a so um, back here um, high. That is very cool. Wow. As a bit of practical, um, if you want your delay to sit underneath your sound and not get in the way, rolling some of the high end off can make a really big difference. I'm just going to turn some distortion on for you, Dan. Okay. Wish me luck. Yep. did that because on some analog delays out there, such as the um, MXR carbon copy, for example, mm -hmm. you're kind of stuck with those really yep. dark repeats, aren't you? So mm -hmm. being able to affect the tone of it, I think is a fantastic addition to any analog delay. But it's not, it's not, it's not a, a, um, like a low pass thing. It's, it's a, sorry. It is a low pass thing. You're, you're altering the amount of bottom end as opposed to the, the tone controls and delays, but it's just top. This is the this is the bottom. Yeah. So it, it tapes off that bottom and just leaves you with that top end. That's so clever. Or the opposite. It's a, it's a band pass filter at one end and a low high pass at the other end. But isn't that, if, sorry, just play for me. I think if I go all the way this side. Let's get this right. Okay, it should just play that for me. Yeah. That's so clever. At minimum, the filter control is an overall low pass effect, darker sounding echo. At maximum, the filter control provides an overall band pass filter, rolling off both lows and highs. Right. That is really, really cool. Yeah. Um, so, so far, I'm crying out for modulation, which it doesn't have, does it? No. I even read the manual to see if it has some sort of switch on the inside. Seems like a, an omission to me. Seems like an omission to me too. I don't quite know why that might be the case, but...
You... I have a question though. Right. With in regards to headroom, can you play for me again? So. That sounds ace. Now, if I hit it with this. I, in order to ascertain that, I sh I, uh, we should use something that we're more familiar with, shouldn't we? Rolling off the high end. Yeah, okay. Nice. Um, this is not to say the um, Marvelous Engine doesn't sound great, it's just to say that we're familiar with this. That sounds incredible. That sounds nice. It really does. It really does. Wow. Just oh boy, oh boy. Dear Supro. <laughs> for Christmas, please can we have this, but with modulation in it. So I I had a thought before that maybe, um, you know, like the, the Analog Man ARDX20, it doesn't have modulation in it, but if you plug the Amazio into it, which uses voltage control things to change the, d the, the delay time. Now, you could put an expression pedal in here and change the delay time. So I thought, I wonder if the ADRX20 would work yes. to get modulation. It doesn't, but I wonder what it would take to make it work. <laughs> yeah, so that little switch in the middle on the top there, if you plug an expression pedal in, you can have control over effect level, um, repeats, or delay time. Yes, perfect. Yeah. Yep. Amazing. OK. Very nice. Right, now, moving on. Deep breath. Yes. This is our first Meris pedal we've had in the show. This is the Mercury 7. Everyone's talking about Meris pedals. Yeah, and for good reason. Um, I've just, I had a small play with this, as I do, before, <laughs> and I it's heavenly. Now, there is a lot to this pedal. I had uh, got the manual here, and every knob has a secondary function and uh, you can, you know, MIDI presets and change MIDI channels and and what it does is is so far beyond what we can possibly demonstrate today. But we're going to give you a quick look at what the the functions are and the sounds of the thing. So start simple then. It's so a let's start simple. Pedal. It's a reverb. How pedal. many voices does it have? Um, sorry, one second. You're there. Let me take something I'm more familiar with. Okay, it has, let's, so, let's start from the top. So, so this is just the standard, this is, um, right, with the pitch off, the, the frequencies in the middle, mix, I'll turn the modulation off for now. This is without it. This is with it.
Just turn the reverbs in the amp. In the amp. Oh, okay, cool. Right. Okay. So, yep. <laughs> So, it's like the most lush studio style reverbs I've ever heard in a pedal. Unbelievable. Now, but you go from that, and then you have this thing they call the pitch vector, which affects, it pitch shifts the reverb. Okay, so if I go from um, without it on, I'm going to put the reverb to an octave lower. Now you hear the reverb trail down. Now we have fifth harmonies on the reverb. I don't know, leave it there. And then we get to shimmer. Okay, so that is in cathedral mode. If we go to ultra plate mode. Isn't that amazing? Okay, so I'm guessing that because this is red, there's probably a green one there as well, and some other. There's yeah, and then and then you can get into secondary um, functions never, for all this stuff as well. Never press and hold anything, Nick. Never. And then then the, the last thing I'll, I'll show you quickly. So with a big tail reverb like this, 
Then we can turn on the swell function. Anyway, I think that is the it is the most hi-fi sounding reverb I've ever heard. Really? In a pedal. It is absolutely astonishing. Yeah. It's beautiful. I I'm, guess I'm, it's the kind of thing that you need to spend a few hours with, isn't it? Yeah, I look it there's there's you know, so much in there. There is stuff in so there. much in there. And presumably but it's all MIDIable and all of all that. All that stuff. So it's basically, if you're um, a Big Sky user and you like all those ethereal, modern sounding reverbs, yeah, this is definitely something you should be listening to. Yeah. Again, very crowded marketplace, isn't it? Yeah, it is. It is. But, but I just think, just sonically, it's up there with anything else I've ever heard. You know, it's so beautiful. That, that, um, that plate sound, it's just magic. Yeah, very, very cool. I'm very impressed with that. Yeah, yeah. Creative uh, up the yin-yang. Yeah. If you felt in the least bit creative. That's what they were going to call it. Expression. Creative pedals. up the yin-yang reverb. But they... Oh, God. Yeah, okay. Read All the, the stuff. Read the manual. Yeah. It's very cool. Very cool. Brian wouldn't be proud. He'd be so proud. But there are whales trying to mount the beach and swim here at this moment. <laughs> oh boy. There okay. you go, guys. Um hope you enjoyed that. Some some corkers there. Uh okay. Thank you for watching. Please check out the comments of the description below, and you'll find links to these pedals to uh, Ooh, our... Including the, the ones that actually should be in the show. They, there you go. <laughs> uh, and uh, also links to our thatpedalshowstore.com where you can go and buy t-shirts and coasters and... Strings. Strings and, and all the stuff. Uh, also, a massive thank you to our patrons on Patreon. 
without you guys, we literally couldn't do what we do. So thank, thank you. you so much. Have a great week and we'll see you soon. Thank <laughs> you.